Welcome back, this is Yam Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Museum Suicidal, and uh, today I was reading a manhwa. Let's see if I can find the name of it. It's not good. You are here to clean out FYI, Zeds. it is not and good. Release that witch. It's a Korean manhwa based on a, uh, a web novel, I believe, of the same name. It's garbage. It's trash. Um, but we're going to talk about it. I am reading it. I am reading it all. So it reaches, it reaches the bare minimum of being like acceptable to, to be enjoyable, I suppose. Um, but I, I can recognize it as being the, the absolute just trash that it is. Uh, and if you're the author, or if you're a fan, I'm sorry. It's trash. <laughs> it's garbage. Um, it's, uh, it's about a dude who gets transported to another world. You know, very typical. Um, but that's not the trash part, okay? The trash part is that it's like every other one that's ever been made. Um... So in this world, there are witches. They have, like, magical powers. Of course, they're all women. Um, men can't have magical powers. It's only the women. So far, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they change that up in the future, but... Um, thus far, you know, 130 chapters in or something like that, it's all just the women, and he goes around recruiting them all into his harem of witches that have magical powers, and they all fall in love with them for who knows what reason. Stockholm Syndrome? Um, they're all underage. Even the one who's 40 looks like she's about 18 at the absolute most. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's it's all about just boobs and butts. That's the whole plot of the of the of the story. It's it's an enjoyable story. Okay, I would recommend reading it if you're into manhwa and you're okay with absolute garbage. Um, I am. So I've I've been enjoying it, but I I, I make make no mistake, it's absolute garbage. Um, one of the scenes was just a picture, well, not a picture, but like, um, you know, drawing of this girl's butt. Just, just her butt. Like, that was, that was the whole, you know, frame, was just her butt. In, like, shorts. With just, just her butt. And then it had, like, a text to bot box dialogue coming out of it, talking about something. Like, they're having a conversation, like, <laughs> they're talking, but... <laughs> you still just like, yeah, no. What we have to have here is is butts. Um, they all wear, you know, the the maid uniforms. And the dude is super weird. The forty year old who looks like an eighteen year old is supposed to be like a bookworm. So he's like, aha, I got you glasses. She's like, my eyes are fine though. He's like, no, no, you have to wear glasses because it just it makes the look so much better. And then she puts them on, and there's just like three panel section of uh, her putting the glasses on and me dying. What the heck, dude? I don't know uh, how I could have got out of that one. Uh, there's this, like three panel thing for putting on the glasses. Uh, and then it goes to this other part where they're introducing this new witch. And of course she's got her like, she's, she's wearing this shirt that for some reason parts at the belly button. She, she's in a very cold environment, but her shirt has to part at the belly button for some reason, you know. And the belly button is like sparkling. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is this garbage? It's so bad. Is it Korean or is it Chinese? I don't actually remember. I don't actually remember. It could, it could be it could be either or. Um, release that witch. It's Chinese. Okay, so it's not Korean. My apologies. My sincerest apologies. It is uh, it is Chinese. I apologize for ever saying that it's Korean and putting that on any of my Korean viewers. Um, it really doesn't read like it's Chinese, though. It really reads more like Korean. I'm assuming that the author is probably a fan of Korean webtoons, then. Um, or it just happened to be more Korean. Um, if I, if I, well, actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I take that back. No, it, to it totally is Chinese. Because Chinese webtoons, for some reason, totally do have this weird obsession with big boobs. Like the like the trash ones. Like there's there are good ones that I've read as well. But if we're talking trash, um, Chinese webtoons always have this this weird thing with uh, with enormous boobs, and uh, you know the guy has got all of the girls, and uh, they all have enormous boobs. It's uh, it's, it's this weird thing. And you're like, oh, yeah, but isn't, like, anime the same thing? No. 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 <laughs> anime is even more reserved. Um, 
For some reason, the, the like trash anime has this um, weird obsession with like lolly. You know? They have this weird obsession with making everything seem like they're 14 years old. Um, at the very least, the lolly characters in this aren't sexualized. <laughs> Too much, anyway. Um, but uh, they all have enormous poops, of course. And, uh... Yeah, it's just, it's just trash. So I take it back. No, this absolutely does seem like it's, uh, it's Chinese. I just I wasn't thinking critically. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't really necessarily tell the difference between a uh, Chinese webtoon and a Korean webtoon 100% accurately without knowing where it's from anyway, because, like... Time's up. Not saying the cultures are the same. I'm just saying that if you're writing a story that's based on something that is, like, very prevalent and, you know, everywhere, then uh, it's probably going to end up being pretty much the same. And, uh, you know, Korea and uh, China are the only places that actually make uh, webtoons like this on, uh, you know, on, on a more of a uh, regular occurrence. You know, like uh, Japan has some as well, and uh, I've seen a few, like, Polish ones, too. Um, haven't seen any Indian ones. I don't know, I don't know what Indian media really looks like. Not that Poland is in Asia, is it? I don't think it is, right? It's European. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe I sound like the biggest dummy, but I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that Poland is European in nature. Um, but, you know, they've, they've got a few. Uh, Japan typically doesn't do webtoons. They do a black and white um, manga, almost always. Um, and then anime, whereas uh, Korea and China will often do full-color webtoons which are like almost like anime like they're they're kind of like the same purpose as anime except they don't have any animation and they don't have any um like sound but they kind of fulfill the same purpose and they'll be called like episodes it's like episode three and episode four and so on um it's kind of a weird thing if you're not used to it i suppose but hello you're just walking back and forth there hey where are you at where are you... Huh? You made it Make for the this reminds me of a part of place in Combat Arms. I don't know what, what the map was called, but it reminds me of a place in Combat Arms. Anyway, I've been reading it. It's just it's total trash. I keep, I keep thinking to myself as I as I read, I'm like, why am I still I reading this? <laughs> like, 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 like there's, there's definitely good parts to it. I, I'm enjoying the story as it develops and, and seeing how they kind of overcome these problems and, and yada yada yada. Not that the problems really like have much doubt. Like there's high degree of plot armor here, you know? Um, and I've, I've been enjoying it, but um, yeah, it's just garbage, dude. Hi. Shoot me, baby, one more time. Take that, you stupid. Any hoozle, any hoozle. That's what I've been doing today, is reading that. It's no good, man. It's no good. Last night, I believe, I, uh, it was last night or the night before, I can't actually remember. Um, but I went through on my computer on Manga Dex looking for some romance webtoons to read. And I just, like, saved a bunch into my phone. And, uh,. You know, I'm like, whatever, I'll just read through them and, and see which ones are good. This one was apparently supposed to be about, like, hardcore leveling or something like that, was was what the description said. So I was like, I don't know, maybe there'll be, like, skill points and it'll be kind of like a, a gamified thing and there'll be some romance happening. There's been basically zero romance. Um, it's just a generic harem. And then uh, there's no skills or anything like that either. Um, there has been some, like, ability, like, personal ability development stuff happening, but... Uh, Nothing in the form of, like, gamification or anything. Gamification. Um. So. I was a little disappointed, but whatever. I'm committed, so I'm gonna finish reading it. It's definitely one, like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, it's based on a web novel of the same name, like I said, but... I, uh... I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't... 
I don't foresee myself reading the web novel. More Zed's on the way. Start to wrap things up as they say. Rock and roll. <laughs> Break time's over. Get back to work. More Zed's inbound. We've got a flat down! I don't know how long I've been muted. I'm just kind of salty, honestly. Uh, I don't know how long I've been muted. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just mad. So we're just going to end it here. That's going to be the end of the episode. It's, it's, we're just going to rage quit. <laughs> I just don't want to do more. Um, that one didn't feel good. That That death just felt like not good. Like, you just walk around the corner and it's like, hey, three flesh pounds and, like, bloats and... Yeah, I'm done. Bye. <laughs>